What's up, sneaker fam? In this video, we'll be restoring a pair of Air Jordan 11 Win Like 86 Gym Reds. And along the way, I'll be showing you all the tips and tricks that I can while using patent leather paint and sealer. So follow along and let's find out how we can take our patent leather sneakers from looking like this to more like this over here. So let's begin this tutorial. So the first step we're gonna take is to remove the top coat from our patent leather. We'll begin by using the wet sanding method. So you'll need a piece of 180 grit sandpaper, 220 grit, and 320 grit. And finally, a bottle of 70% alcohol hand sanitizer, or just regular 70% alcohol is fine. We'll begin by applying the hand sanitizer directly to the sneakers and then wet sanding with the 180 grit sandpaper, followed by the 220 grit, then the 320 grit. After we're done, we're gonna tape up the sneaker to give it some protection from sanding while the sneaker is dry. To get into the contour of the sneaker, I'm gonna be using a piece of foam flooring pads and attach some sandpaper to them. The flooring pads are gonna act as a sponge and give you the ability to sand around curves and into the tight crevices of the sneaker. All you gotta do is cut out the shape you need and attach a rubber band and you're good to start sanding. You'll want to sand the entire sneaker until it turns white and it starts to look ashy. Once we're done, we'll get a horsehair brush and a microfiber cloth to remove any dust and debris. Just take note here that you can fold the foam flooring pads into any shape that you need to sand. Be that a square, a circle, or a triangle. Just get as creative as you want. Also, if there's a lot of excess dust, especially along the stitches, you can get a damp magic eraser and wipe off the surface before you begin painting. Now let's begin using the patent leather paint. And here are a couple tips. One, I like to keep my airbrush submerged in a cup of solution as I'm using patent leather paint to avoid clogs. Two, to be able to spray the paint, you'll need to pull your needle back on your airbrush at least one and a half to two inches. Three, keep a plug inside of the paint jar to prevent clogs as well. Another mistake I used to make was tightening up my jar so tight that the tube went all the way to the bottom of the jar. Give the cap of the jar a small turn to keep the tube off the floor of the jar and avoid disrupting the paint flow of the tube. That's what I feel like. I'm, I'm happy with the spray then I'll apply it to the shoe. So here we are just spinning the shoe on a homemade Lazy Susan. It's made up of a Frisbee and the top of a five gallon bucket. As we go along here, I'm just painting across a four to five inch area at about three and a half to four inches away from the sneaker. I consider seven passes of paint across any one area, one coat. After we're done spraying, we'll just sit our airbrush in solution and plug our jar and allow the sneaker to dry for one hour to one hour and a half, making sure that we sand between coats. Put as many coats as necessary and make sure to sand with a piece of 320 grit sandpaper. Now let's move on to applying some patent leather sealer. Before you apply sealer, 
make sure that you sand the sneaker very thoroughly with a piece of 320 grit sandpaper. Make sure to remove any dust and debris. The key here when using clear patent sealer is to get close to the sneaker with the sealer. You're looking to create a coat that looks about the same as a glazed donut. If you put the coat on too thin, it will create pores. And if you put the coat on too thick, it'll create drip when it dries, as you can see here. Here are a few examples of what the finished product should look like. On the right, the sealer was applied too thick and it had to be wiped off. On the left, the sealer was applied too thin and it created pores. In the center, the sealer was applied just right. And as you can see, it's flexible with no cracking or peeling. Here's what it looks like, you know, just painted. I still got some coats to do. You can see it's pretty dull, but with the sealer on, really, really shiny, really, really glossy, waterproof. And I, I got some water here. Got some water right there. You can see that nothing happens. So it is the whole shaban. You can wipe it off. Okay. In there. It's the real deal. But now let me redo these so I can finish up. Patent leather paint and sealer will be available in gem red, white, black, and cool gray. We also have wipe on sealer available. Please check in the comments or in the description. And please stay tuned for a demo of how to use patent leather black ultra sealer so this is some airbrush cleaner it's a solution i'll just clear my gun out make sure there's no color in there We're gonna attach our black. I'm gonna give the bottle a twist to make sure that the tube isn't all the way at the bottom. Now I'm gonna test the color. Got black. Good. Coming out smooth. Okay. And now I'm gonna apply it to the sneaker. I'm gonna pull my needle back about two inches. And now we're gonna rotate the shoe and you're gonna get close to about, a, about an inch, inch and a half. And you're just gonna spray and go. You gotta make it all the way around. Cause you don't want air to hit it or you're gonna get little bubbles. So I'm gonna hit the bottom since we got black, okay? Work our way around. You want to be close because you want it to be glossy. Sealed. Put that back in the solution to make sure it doesn't get any clogs. Tighten up my jar. Put the plug in so that we don't get any clogs here. And then we're gonna allow that to dry um, for at least eight to 10 hours. That's what I do before I bend it or do anything like that. And um, those are good to go. Hey, my name is Footprints, and again, I'd like to thank you for watching. So here's a little bit about me. I specialize in re-glues and patent leather repairs. 
And I also can fix the hole in the front of a tow box for like Yeezy 350s or on the side as well. I have a special suede and new buck renewal powder and sealer that's available. And I also do online live classes. I have ebooks available, PDFs, and a whole lot more. So stay tuned and thank you again.